How deep is the ocean? Did you know that 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans? And 96% of all the water on Earth is seawater. In essence, our planet is truly an oceanic planet. Yet, humanity knows very little about the oceans. It's said that we've explored less than 5% of them. That's about the same proportion as our understanding of the universe. Today, let's dive into the mysteries of the ocean together. Do you know the average depth of the ocean? It's 3,680 meters or 12,073 feet. In comparison, the average elevation of the Earth's land is only 860 meters or 2,822 feet. This shows just how deep and vast the oceans are. The deepest part of the ocean? That would be the Mariana Trench, which plunges over 11,000 meters or 36,089 feet deep. That's far taller than Mount Everest. In fact, the distance from the peak of Mount Everest to the deepest part of the Mariana Trench is over 20,000 meters or 65,617 feet. Now, let's officially begin our descent. Three meters, the surface zone. Most humans can't swim deeper than three meters or 10 feet on their own. This is the typical depth for recreational swimming. 20 to 30 meters, the coral zone. At this depth, we enter the vibrant coral reef ecosystem. This is where most underwater plants and marine life thrive, thanks to sunlight still penetrating the water. 40 meters, the recreational diving limit. This is the maximum depth for most recreational scuba divers. Beyond 40 meters or 131 feet, divers begin to experience symptoms similar to altitude sickness, such as joint pain, dizziness, and disorientation. Interestingly, the world's deepest swimming pool is also around this depth. The Y40 Deep Joy, located in Monte Grotto Term, Italy, has a maximum depth of 42 meters or 138 feet. It's a popular destination for diving enthusiasts, offering a safe but thrilling deep diving experience. 70 meters, the hallucination zone. At 70 meters or 230 feet, human divers start experiencing hallucinations due to the effects of high pressure gases on the brain. This is also the habitat of the whale shark, the largest fish species in the world. These gentle giants roam these waters, feeding on plankton and small fish. 100 meters, the edge of professional diving. At 100 meters or 328 feet, we reach the limit of professional diving. Only highly trained divers equipped with specialized gear can safely explore this depth. This is also home to a fascinating creature, the giant Pacific octopus. This incredible species can change its color like a chameleon, allowing it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. Not only that, but it can also grow up to 6 meters or 20 feet long. In ancient times, sailors often mistook these massive creatures for legendary sea monsters. And honestly, if you saw one unexpectedly in the deep sea, you might think the same. 130 meters, the deadly arch of the blue hole. At 130 meters or 427 feet, we arrive at the infamous arch at the bottom of the Dahab blue hole in Egypt. We've covered the Blue Hole in a previous video. It's one of the most dangerous dive sites in the world. This underwater sinkhole plunges over 120 meters or 394 feet deep, with the arch sitting at around 56 meters or 184 feet. The arch is a 26 meter or 85 feet wide tunnel that connects the Blue Hole to the open sea because of the way light refracts underwater. Divers often misjudge distances here, leading them to descend too deep. The result? A shocking number of fatalities. It's estimated that at least 200 divers have lost their lives in the Blue Hole. Near the entrance, a chilling sight awaits, rows of memorial plaques carved with the names of those who never resurfaced. For technical divers, this place represents the ultimate challenge. But for many, it has become a deadly trap. 200 meters, entering the deep sea. At 200 meters or 656 feet, we officially enter the deep sea. Below this depth, sunlight is too weak for photosynthesis which means you won't find green plants growing here. But that doesn't mean there's no life. This is the realm of the mysterious giant oarfish, a long, ribbon-like fish that can grow up to 11 meters or 36 feet in length. Some believe these eerie, serpent-like creatures are the origin of ancient sea serpent legends. 214 meters, the limits of free diving. Now, let's talk about one of the most extreme sports in the world, free diving. Free diving is all about holding your breath and diving as deep as possible without any breathing equipment. Sound impossible? Well, one man pushed this to the absolute limit. The current world record for the deepest free dive belongs to Herbert Nitsch, an Austrian free diver nicknamed the Flying Fish. In 2007, he achieved the unthinkable, 
a single breath descent to 214 meters or 702 feet. To put this into perspective, I mentioned earlier that at 100 meters or 328 feet, divers start experiencing hallucinations. So what happens when you go even deeper? At extreme depths, the immense water pressure compresses your internal organs. Your lungs, stomach, and intestines get crushed. Your lungs start separating from your chest cavity, leading to permanent damage. So how did Herbert Nitsch survive? He developed a unique technique, using the pressure to push his internal organs upward, preventing his lungs from collapsing entirely. It was a risky and extremely dangerous strategy, and even though he survived, it left him with lasting injuries. So, if you're watching this video, do not attempt this at home. 300 meters, 984 feet. The Giant Crab's Territory. At 300 meters, you'll encounter a familiar creature, one that you might have even eaten before, the Japanese spider crab or macrochiracamphorae. Has anyone watching ever tried this crab? I haven't, so I'm really curious about how it tastes. These crabs have incredibly long legs and tiny heads. If you fully stretch out their legs, they can reach up to 4 meters or 13 feet across. But crabs aren't the only ones that have made it to this depth. Humans have, too, but only with the help of special equipment. 332 meters, the deepest human dive with equipment. Without any gear, the deepest a person has ever freedived is 214 meters or 702 feet. But with scuba equipment, humans have gone even deeper. The record for the deepest scuba dive belongs to Ahmed Gaber, an Egyptian diver who made history in 2014 by descending to 332 meters or 1,089 feet. Amazingly, it only took him 15 minutes to reach that depth. Originally, he planned to go even deeper to 350 meters or 1,148 feet. But at 332 meters or 1,090 feet, he lost his sense of orientation and started experiencing intense hallucinations. Realizing extreme danger, he had no choice but to start his ascent. But here's the shocking part. While his descent took only 15 minutes, his ascent took a staggering 13.5 hours. Why so long? When divers descend, their bodies absorb massive amounts of gases, including oxygen and nitrogen. If they ascend too quickly, the dissolved gases in their blood can expand rapidly, causing blood vessel ruptures, decompression sickness, or even oxygen toxicity, which can lead to permanent damage to the eyes and central nervous system. To avoid this, divers must ascend very slowly, at a rate of 25 meters or 82 feet per hour, allowing the gases to gradually release from their bloodstream. Ahmed Gaber's record-breaking dive was carefully monitored by a team of 30 professionals, ensuring his safety. To this day, no one has been able to break his record. By the way, most submarines operate at depths between 300 and 500 meters or between 984 feet to 1,640 feet, meaning this is about as deep as human technology can comfortably go. 500 meters, the blue whale's final limit. At 500 meters or 1,640 feet, we officially leave the human world and enter the true realm of deep sea creatures. This is where the blue whale, the largest animal on earth, reaches its maximum diving depth. Even though blue whales can grow up to 30 meters or 98 feet long and weigh over 180 tons or 396,832 pounds, their lungs are not designed for extreme depths. Unlike some deep sea creatures, they cannot withstand the crushing pressure below this level. Beyond 500 meters or 1,640 feet, the ocean becomes a dark, mysterious world where only the strangest and most extreme life forms can survive. 500 meters, the blue whale's mighty roar. The blue whale isn't just the largest creature on Earth. It's also one of the loudest. Its call can reach a staggering 188 decibels, which is louder than a fighter jet. Even more astonishing, this sound can travel up to 1,600 kilometers or 1,000 miles underwater. With a single call, a blue whale can communicate with others across vast distances, summoning an entire pod from the far reaches of the ocean. But the blue whale isn't the only unexpected visitor at this depth. There's another surprising creature that thrives here. Penguins. The emperor penguin, Aptenodites first hairy, the largest penguin species, can dive beyond 500 meters or 1,640 feet with ease. Even more impressively, it can stay at this depth for 10 minutes, making it the most pressure-resistant bird on the planet. 600 meters, the transparent headed fish. At 600 meters or 1,968 feet, we meet one of the strangest creatures in the ocean, the Pacific barrel eye fish or Macropinna microstoma. We've talked about this bizarre fish in a previous video. Its most incredible feature, a completely transparent head. Inside this clear dome, you can see two green tube-shaped eyes that point straight upward. Unlike most fish, it cannot look forward. 
only up? Why? Because it doesn't need to. Its entire hunting strategy is based on spotting prey above, while remaining completely hidden in the darkness below. And if you ever try to bring this fish to the surface, it explodes due to the sudden change in pressure. 700 meters, the secret life of eels. At 700 meters or 2,297 feet, we enter the world of the European eel, Anguilla anguilla. Many people love grilled eel rice, but did you know eels aren't just freshwater fish? They actually spend half their lives in the ocean. When it's time to lay eggs, they migrate back to rivers where they're often caught and serve as food. 900 meters, the realm of the giant squid. At 900 meters or 2,953 feet, we finally encounter the legendary giant squid or Architetus ducks. These massive creatures can grow over 10 meters or 33 feet long, and many people think they are rare or mythical. But here's the truth. Giant squids are actually quite common. We just rarely see them because humans don't frequently explore these depths. How do we know they exist in large numbers? Well, there's a surprising clue, and we'll reveal it later in this journey. In our next episode, we'll dive beyond 1,000 meters or 3,281 feet, exploring even deeper and more mysterious parts of the ocean. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It really means a lot to me. Your support is my biggest motivation to keep creating. Thank you and see you in the next one.